Hello, in this video, you're going to learn how to make an equip and unequip system. So I can draw my sword and hold it in my hand. And if I want to, I can cheap it again and make it unequipped and then it'll be attached at my side arm. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be starting from the third person template, but you can follow along this tutorial with any third person character that you're using. So to get started, if we just go to the content drawer and I'm just going to click dock in layout to make my content drawer permanently be here. So the first thing we're going to do is import the character's sheathing and drawing sword animations. So if we just go to the character folder, then to mannequins, animations, go to many. And then if we briefly close Unreal Engine, in the description of this video, I'm going to make sure to include a download link where you can download these assets. We just want to find the draw sword and the sheath sword animation and just drag and import them into this folder. When we import them, for the skeleton, just make sure to select the SK mannequin. Then go import all. Then whilst we're here, if we just go to our content drawer and we just want to right click, create a new folder and just call this sword. Head inside here. And then we just want to import the sword model and the sword texture into this folder. We can just go import all. Now by default, the sword's not going to import with the correct um, texture. So that's why I included this texture file. We just want to select it, right click and go create material. Then if we just open up this sword static mesh and here where it says material slot, just change this to be the sword material that we just made. We can save this. Then we just want to go back to the animation folder and find the sheath sword and the draw sword animations. Right click on both of them and go create and create an animation montage. By making these animation montages, we'll be able to play and reference these animations later on in our game. Just double click and open one of them and just click this little pink icon. This will take us to the skeletal mesh of this character. And what we're going to do is basically place on our character where we want the sword to be when our character has the sword equipped and where we want the sword to be when it's not equipped. So if we just go preview animation and look for the sheath animation. So the sheath sword one and just click this little pause icon and go towards the end of the animation where the player is sheathing the sword. So around here, frame 29. Then if we just go to the skeleton tree and look for the spine 01 bone, just select it then just right click and go add socket, double click to open this up and just call this the sheath. Then here under the skeleton tree, look for sheath, right click and just go add preview asset and we want to add the sword model that we just imported. So using these gizmos here, so if I just go here where it says select and translate, I can kind of move the sword. If I go here, I can kind of rotate the sword. And if I go here, I can kind of scale up or scale down the sword. We can also go to where it says window and go details. This will bring up this details panel here. And I can also adjust the location, rotation and scale of the sword by playing around with these values here. So I just want you to place the sword so it's basically attached to the player's head. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I've done that. This is where I want my sword to be when it's basically sheathed. The next thing we need to do is just go preview animation and find the draw sword animation. And we just want to go to around frame one where our player character is drawing the sword. And then if we just go to the scan entry and this time look for the hand underscore R bone, right click and just go add socket and just call this the draw socket. Then in the skeleton tree, if I look for draw, we just want to right click and go add preview asset. And we're going to look for the sword model that we just imported. And we just want to basically position this in our player character's right hand. So this is going to be where the sword is going to be when our player character has drawn their sword. So I'm just going to place this in my player character's right hand. Okay, so I've done that. And if I just play this animation through, the sword should be attached in our player character's right hand. Nice. So now that we've set this up, if we just save this, and we want to go over to the third person character blueprint. Just go over to the viewport and just go add and look for a static mesh because that's the type of mesh that our sword was. And just call this the sword. Go over to static mesh and just look for sword. 
then we just want to drag and place this sword mesh and attach it to our character's mesh. Scroll down and make sure that the collision preset is set to no collision. Then if we just go over here where it says sockets, we just want to go search and look for the sheath socket. This will basically attach our sword to our mesh's sheath socket. So it's in the wrong um, position. If we just click these arrows, this will just make it so it's in the correct position. The next thing we need to do is basically make it when our player character presses a button, it'll basically toggle between the sword being drawn and the sword being sheathed. So to do this, if we just go over to the event graph, and I'm just going to create a new variable here and call it sword equipped. And for now, I'm not going to use Unreal Engine's new input system. I'm just going to right click and look for one. And I'm going to make it so when the player basically presses the one button, it's going to toggle their sword. So when one is pressed, we're going to drag up here and look for a branch. And the condition of this branch is going to be whether the sword is equipped. So I'll just drag it in and look for get sword equipped. Connect this into here. So if my sword is not equipped, if this is false, then we just want to drag up here and look for play animation montage. And the animation montage we're going to play is going to be the draw sword so that my player character draws their sword. If this is true and my sword is equipped, then we're just going to drag off true and look for play animation montage. And the animation we're going to play is going to be the sheath sword. So my player character sheaths their sword. If we just click this little browse um, icon, this will take us to our sheath sword animation. If we just double click and open this up, we want to find the frame where our player character sheaths their sword. So around here, around frame 28. And we just want to go to the node thieves from tab, right click and go add notify, new notify, and just call this sheath. So at this point in our animation, we'll make our player character sheath their sword. We then want to just find our draw sword animation and go to the start. So around here, and I'm just going to right click here, go add notify, new notify, and I'll call this draw. So at this point in my character's animation, he's going to draw their sword. We can save this. Then the next thing we want to do is just go over to the AP Manny animation blueprint. If you're using your own custom character, just go over to the animation graph and make sure that you have a default slot which connects from basically your player character's main state machine to the output graph. So make sure you have this default slot. If we don't have this, then animation montages don't work. Then if we just go over to the event graph and we want to find some free space and just right click and look for event sheath. And then we also just want to right click and look for event draw. So we'll be able to reference the animation notifies that we made earlier. Just go to the variables tab, go to references and drag in this character reference. Look for get character. And we just want to drag up here and look for pass to the VP third person character. So this basically allows us to reference the third person character blueprint. This animation blueprint, if I just go here, at the start of this animation blueprint, it basically makes a reference to whatever is using this and then saves this as this character variable. And we're basically just um, using this to reference our VP third person character because this is what's going to be using the animation blueprint. So when we get to where it says sheath in our animation notifier, we're going to make a reference to our third person character and we just want to drag off here and look for attach component and we want this one attach component to component sword and then we just want to drag off this as bp third person character and look for mesh get mesh and connect this into here and this into here so we're going to attach our sword to our mesh so by default our sword is actually already going to be attached to our mesh although this time we're going to change the socket that's attached to so when we sheath our sword, we want to basically attach our sword to the sheath socket. So here, I'm going to type in sheath. And make sure that it's spelled however you spell your sheath socket. So mine just spell like this. So I'm going to make sure it's spelled correctly. And then for the location rule, make sure it's set to snap to target. For the rotation, set it to snap to target. And for the scale, set it to snap to target. And then when we sheath the sword, we just want to drag off here. And look for set sword and just leave it unchecked 
That way we know our sword is no longer equipped. Then we can just copy all of these nodes. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. When we draw our sword, we are going to attach it to the draw socket. And then we're going to let the game know that we have our sword equipped. We can compile this. Okay, so it looks like it has failed to compile. If we just go to our third person character and go compile, and then go back here and click compile, it just needed to basically update. Because I hadn't compiled here, it didn't know that we made these variables. So we can just save this, close, and now if I go play, we can see the sword is sheathed. If I press the one button, I draw my sword, and now it's in my character's hand. And if I press the one button again, the sword is sheathed again. So that is how to make an equip and unequip system inside Unreal Engine 5. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.